Election day is only five weeks away, so who will be Oregon's next governor? I sat down with Republican candidate Newt Bueller and Democratic candidate Governor Kate Brown. My two questions tonight, what are their plans to solve the homeless crisis and how do we turn around Oregon's education system? That's the question I pose first to Governor Kate Brown. Past plans have fallen short. We still have one of the worst high school graduation rates. We have problems with higher education. What is your plan to turn that around? I'm finding that the number one thing that we can do in terms of improving our high school graduation rate is to invest in career and technical education or hands-on learning. When I was in high school, we called it VOTEC education. Uh, maybe two decades ago, we ripped these programs out of the schools. It's been a huge loss, both in terms of education and in terms of the economy. So since I've become governor, we've made steady progress in investing in career and technical education. 2015, we doubled the number thir to $32 million. Uh, and in 2017, with the help of ballot measure 98, we increase that to 170 million. My goal as governor is to make sure that we invest a full funding for ballot measure 98, 300 million dollars. And this is because we know that when students get access to hands-on learning, they want to stay in the classroom. Education becomes relevant. It connects careers uh, to the classroom. And it also teaches them very important life skills like teamwork. I asked Newt Bueller the same question on improving Oregon's education system. Give me a specific example on how you might you might turn that around. Well one big important goal is uh, we need to restore Oregon's lost school year. Uh, people may not realize it but a first grader starting in Oregon schools just a few weeks ago if they go all the way through to 12th grade they'll actually been in the classroom a full year less than almost any kid in the nation because Oregon has one of the sc uh, shortest school years. Now think about uh, the inability or the disadvantage our kids have on uh, getting into college because of that, performing on standardized tests, or even for that matter, getting a, a good job when they actually graduate. I strongly believe that in Oregon, uh, kids need and deserve a full school year. Uh, that's very important to me. And listen, I'm a kid who went through Oregon Public Schools in, in Roseburg, and it was really my elevator to success, and I want that for Oregon kids. For the first time ever, the homeless crisis is a top campaign issue in an Oregon's governor race. What are your plans to help end the homeless crisis? And more importantly, how do you fund that? So we've been working very closely with uh, jurisdictions like Multnomah County. Um, this winter when uh, they needed resources for shelter care, uh, they came to me and said, we need more financial assistance. I said, it can't just be for Multnomah County, it has to be for communities across the state. So we invested $5 million in shelter care. That's a partnership. Uh, the communities at the local level providing those services. Um, the, our federal partners are key, and that's one of the reasons why we're in crisis right now is that our federal government is literally pulling the rug out uh, beyond be, from low uh, families uh, in affordable housing so the state really needs to step up between 2000 and 2015 we underbuilt about 155 thousand homes so that's a lot of homes to build in a very short period of time so that's why it's key that we partner not just with local government but the night the nonprofit sector as well and of course with our faith communities they're absolutely instrumental in helping us solve this problem not one person can do this alone it's going to take collaboration and consensus Newt Bueller told me he has a five-year plan to end the homeless crisis okay what is part of that plan yeah. so the key part of that plan is the emergent, emergency temporary transitional shelters right away 4,000. If this is an emergency and it truly is, it's a crisis, we need to treat it like that. We need emergency temporary shelters right away and start moving people off of the street and, and importantly, uh, offer them compassion, uh, expect responsibility, and develop independence. That's the winning formula for really helping people turn their lives around. And when you see organizations doing that, it is, is a wonderful thing to see. They quite frankly uh, uh, save people's lives, moving people from dependence and illness uh, to healthier living and, and independence, and, and that's what I want for, for Oregon.
So there's much more to the candidates' answers on education and homelessness on our website, coin.com, and you'll find my complete interviews with both candidates as they answer a variety of questions on important issues facing Oregonians. Let coin.com be your video voters pamphlet. Monday at 5, I ask the candidates one of the key issues facing Oregon with a booming economy. Why is Oregon facing a rising deficit that will be approaching $2 billion soon? Which programs do they fund to carry out their agendas, and how do they do that when there are limited funds? That is Monday. All right, looking forward to it, Jeff. And remember, with midterms on the horizon, we're looking ahead to the first debate, too, in the Oregon governor's race. Coin6 is presenting that, partnering with Children First and Pamplin Media. And this is great. The format is really unprecedented because 100% of these questions are going to be coming from young people, from high schoolers. That's a debate coming up next Tuesday, October 2nd, from 7 to 8 o'clock. Jeff, I know you're moderating that. And this is a great way for folks to get the information and do the research that they need to make an informed vote. Young